guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Uh, always appreciating the support and the comments and the new subscribers every day. So I just sincerely want to say thank you. Um, today worked on uh, pulling this wire from one side of the uh, building to the other, not really all the way, but I'll show you where it goes, but it's probably like 80 to 100 feet, this home run right here, or half the home run. Um, the black, white, and green, I believe. Um, so I'll show you where that goes. And then also pulled in this wire right here, um, switch leg and power, but also had to finish piping this out of the ceiling. Um, right there. All right, so like I showed you guys yesterday, we're going on these lights, that's the exit sign. This is the lights right here. And trying to, uh, basically, there was no connection between this light and that light, so we had to surface mount this pipe right here. So I just did like a four point saddle, cut it in half, make it easy on ourselves. Besides, well, I guess it was nine foot, so it would have made it on one stick, but um, would have been a lot more work, so whatever. Um, so did that, but basically just trying to offset around these boxes right here. So hopefully that's not too close for an aux sensor. It's going to be super close. But uh, anyways, got these lights straight, got the pipe straight, uh, offset straight. So that turned out pretty nice, despite the fact that I cut it in half and didn't use one stick, but YOLO. Um, and yeah, so finished that part from yesterday and then um, I'll go show you that pipe real quick and then the other dog washroom again. So that wire comes to this first pipe right here um, and that was from the beginning of the video on the wall, that um, concrete wall, CMU wall, block wall, goes over to here so it goes um, down to the floor up through there. So down here under the ground over a couple of rooms and then up to the ceiling right about that level and I also pulled this wire right here um, forgot to mention that but that goes back to the um, red box from yesterday or a couple days ago might go walk over there just because because I'm a nice guy and that goes right by our wire right here had to re uh, mount this the other day it was on the other side and then they wanted us to move it on the other side so now it looks kind of ugly but is what it is and that goes up this pipe and around the wall through the through the wall back to the electrical room on the other side over there. Uh, but I'll go ahead and walk back, show you where this wire goes real quick, and then I will show you the last thing that we worked on today. All right, if you guys remember this room with all the exposed conduits, um, that is where this wire goes right here, the black, red, and green for the fire alarm loop. Um, so that's all that I'm sure we'll tie together. But the other day I forgot to mention that I had to separate this pipe with actually in that box. So basically just cut six or four to six inches off, mounted another box, and then just used the same piece of pipe. So I had to separate those the other day. Um, but other than that, um, mounted another uh, uh, pulling L in the other room. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. That turned out really well, I believe. So, show you that real quick and call it a day. All right, so the last part right here had to drill a hole through the back of this box. There wasn't enough room for uh, two connectors back to back, so I just went with one. Hopefully, that's okay. Um, this is for low voltage, so I had to drill a hole through the concrete right here and then stuck that right there for the pulling L three quarter. Um, and then went ahead and piped up. Just a little tiny kick on here to get it close to the wall. And then going up with three quarter, 90. Cut it right there to make it easy for the three point saddle. And then from there, we just did one stick all the way, which turned out really nice. Took a little bit longer than expected, but basically uncharted territory for so many bends in one pipe for me and my new coworker. So, uh, tackled that together and it turned out pretty nice so three point saddle right there 90 and 90 on one stick with a minor kicker we take that out but there's also a little kick right here um, to get it off the ceiling onto the block wall so that turned out pretty sweet 
um, for the most part. It's a little under bent right there, but other than that, right on the center of that, and it's a little deep, but the three point saddle is right in the middle of the pipe. Kick down onto the wall. Straight, sorry, it's dark in here. And then uh, turned out really nice, so pretty happy with that. So that should do it for today's work. Alright guys, that should do it for today's video. Thanks for watching and stopping by. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed if you did. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit that uh, like button and subscribe. And uh, see you guys back here tomorrow for another video. I'm going to do a tour of the new car which I'm sitting in right now. And then uh, I'm going to try to do a house video which is across the street. But there's still some uh, heating people working there. They are currently putting in the ducting for in the attic for the heating system in my house. So I'll try to get all three videos out for you guys today, but um, anyways, that should do it. And uh, that should, yeah, check the description for anything else and hit the I don't know, notification bell. That's what we're on right now. If you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams, that should do it, guys. Thanks so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.